Hello everyone, welcome back to Not From This World's Daz Studio tutorial series. And today I want to help you add some features to your skin such as dirt or a bruise or blood or a mark without using Photoshop and without using a geo shell. Now, a geo shell is something that you can purchase usually from Daz Studio or from another vendor that will add a layer to your character's skin that will give them like a dirty texture or a bloody texture or a bruised uh, texture. Now, you can actually do this without using a geo shell. And it all has to do with changing our character's texture. And so I want to show you how to do that today. I have my character at the beach. And you can see she's um, kind of in the sand here. I have her buried in the sand. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of give her some sandy or dirty legs. Because, you know, you can't be walking around the beach without getting sand on you. So I'm going to show you a really simple technique using that free program I mentioned in some of my other videos, GIMP, to get some dirt, sand, some texture on her legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select her. Make sure I have Milica selected. I'm going to go to the Surface tab. And under the Surface tab, I'm just going to select my Milica character again. And when I select her again, I need to find her skin surfaces. So you don't want to use this skin right here. Um, you want to get surfaces. And once I have my surface tab, I'm going to go down and what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to dirty up her legs. So I'm going to click on her legs and I'm going to go to my base color. I'm going to click on it, go to browse. And then I've got all of the textures for the Milica character. I'm going to scroll down until I find her legs. All right, so here are her legs. I'm gonna just open them, right click, open with GIMP. So we're gonna use this GIMP program again. GIMP is very handy. Okay, so I've got my um, Milica legs. And what we're gonna do is, in GIMP, we are going to select the paintbrush tool and then we're going to come down to the paintbrush tool and if you click on the brush here you're going to get a whole bunch of choices of different brushes so for example uh, the one that it defaults to is this little circle here and so you can uh, make marks on her skin if you ever make a mistake in GIMP, just go to Edit, Undo Paintbrush, and you're good to go. But for making her look maybe a little sandy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, this paintbrush here. And I'm going to go to the size, and I'm going to really boost this up to like, oh, I have it at 664. You can see that it's much bigger. I'm going to actually go bigger than that. Let's make it about a thousand. And at a thousand you can see it's it's pretty large. Now I also can change the color by clicking on the little color tab here. When I click on it, see I can get a whole range of colors. So we need to choose something that is sandy looking. So if I get down in here into the yellow, you can see I kind of have some sand color. So you might have to 
work with this a little bit and see if you can get the color that you like. But um, I think for now, let's go a little bit darker. I'm going to hit OK. And then when I use this paintbrush at size 1000, it's going to put a mark on her that is the size that you see here. So see, I just hit it, hit it again. If you go really dark, you keep holding it. You can keep clicking it, see it'll become solid. Probably don't want it that dark. Okay, I just spent a bunch of time deleting that, but you know, I just click once. You want it like her feet. This is the bottom of her foot right here. This is the bottom of her foot. We might want that a little bit darker. So I'm gonna click on it, make it a little bit darker. Maybe make her toes a little bit darker. And I know what you're wondering, like, do I have to worry about overspray? And let me tell you, you don't. You don't have to worry about overspray at all. You can hit her toes a little bit, make them a little bit dirty. Kind of come up. I'm going to go right. This is her knee right here. You can kind of see her knee. So I'm going to go right to her knee. Just kind of give her a few sprays. Okay, so I guess we're going to see what this looks like. Now remember, when you're in GIMP, if you change your character's texture, do not save it. You need to save it as a new file. So I'm going to go to File. I always go to Export. I'm going to name this because if I don't, I'm going to overwrite my original texture and that would be a sad day. So I'm just going to name this Sandy1. And I'm not going to save it in the Milica folder that's in DAZ either. You can actually save your textures anywhere you want. So where I am going to save it, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to my drive and I'm just going to save it to my drive. That way you always know where it is and I've noticed that sometimes when you save it to the original DAZ folder, DAZ will say it won't work. So we don't want that either. Okay, so I now have this saved. I'm going to go back into DAZ Studio. And uh, what I'm going to do is with her legs selected and I'm at base color, I'm going to click back on that. I'm going to go to browse. And then I'm going to go to my folder that I saved it in. And see, it's right here, Milica Sandy. Double click on that. Boom. See, it just changed her. Now, let me show you something. Let's go to iRay and let's look at what this appears to be. So when I go to iRay, you may be happy with this, but... I am not because as we start looking at it, it's kind of funny because I was playing with this before the uh, tutorial, before I was recording, and I just kept getting her looking really sunburned, and I was like, what is going on? And here's the deal. She looks pretty sunburned because we need to also use the same texture for her uh, translucency color. So if I hit the translucency color, I can go to browse, but see, I can also go to Sandy right here. And when I hit that, now she's not going to look sunburned. Her legs are going to be more brown than red. And so that's kind of a good thing. All right, so... I now have some dirt looking material on her legs. Um, just to kind of help you see this, let's go back to texture shaded. We can double click on her and I can put her in a different pose just to kind of show you um, 
what her legs are looking like. So let's um, let's just get her into a standing pose, and you can see the dirt. So see, so you can see that the dirt is going kind of up to her knees. And if I do a uh, eye ray preview, we'll be able to see the, this dirt. All right, so with this eye ray preview, you can start seeing that her legs are dirty now. It looks like she has some sand or something on her legs. Now, if you want to do something else, you want to have a bruise or blood, you can do the same thing. Just make it a different color. All right, I'm going to get out of my eye ray. Let's go back to texture shaded. And I'm just going to undo everything until she's back in the position that I want. Now, there's one other thing I want to share with you about this that's pretty important. If you're not satisfied with this and you want to change her again, you know, if I go back into my GIMP and I'm, I, you know, I'm thinking I just want this higher up. Maybe I want it darker. If I change it, in order for Daz to read the new file, you have to make sure that you name it something else. If you just save it like it is, and I named it Sandy1, Daz won't recognize it. I don't know why this is the case, but it's the case. You have to rename your file. So when I go to change it, I have to rename this and I'm going to rename it Sandy2. And it's already saved to my OneDrive, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to hit export, hit export again. So now I have two files. And if I go back into DAS, if I go to her legs, um, surfaces, legs, uh, then I go back up to base color. If I click on that, I have to go to browse. I have to find my Sandy 2, but see, watch, when I click on Sandy 2, then it changes. If I saved it again as Sandy 1, it'll keep it as the original Sandy 1. Now I gotta do that with the translucency. Gotta name it Sandy 1. And now uh, we have some sand or dirt on her legs. Another NVIDIA preview here. Okay, so since she's at the beach, let's uh, change Milica like I did in the other video. We'll select her. And when I select her, I'm going to go up to... Or I'm going to stay, I'm sorry, in uh, surfaces. I'm going to select her. And then I'm going to scroll down to glossy roughness. And I'm going to select for glossy roughness 0.13. That's going to give her that wet look. And something kind of cool, uh, just so that you know, if I select her hair, I can get her hair to look a little wet. If I select her hair, select it in the surface tab, and then I go down to metalocity. Okay, so metalocity, if I raise metalocity, it kind of makes her hair more reflective, like it's wet. Okay, let's see what a render looks like. Okay, everyone, here's my 
finished render with Milica looking as good as ever with her kind of dirty legs from being at the beach. So I hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something. You know, you don't have to have Photoshop. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get some pretty cool renders. If you liked this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, give me some comments, let me know what you like, what you want to see, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.